hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rebecca in this video i'm going to show you how to solve cambridge igcse ict exam paper this is paper 2 and this is may june 2024 paper 21 so we are going to look at the presentation task for this question paper i've solved the document production task and the database task okay if you need to watch the video you can go through my channel to find the video Okay, let's go to the presentation task. Okay, you're going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Create a presentation of eight slides using the file J2421 Playground. Okay, so I'm going to open PowerPoint. And I'm going to delete this slide. So click on new slide, slides out from outline. And then you choose the file. Okay, so we have the slides here. Unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Okay, so we have the title and the bulleted list. Place at the top right of the slide a header with your name center number and candidate number so at the top right of the slide okay we are going to go to view and then use slide master so at the top right so i'm going to use text box and then i sh i would have my name center number and candidate number name center number and candidate number okay so I'm going to go to the normal view let's see if it appears on all pages okay it appears on all pages place in the footer automated slide numbers left aligned okay so in the footer so we go back to slide master inserts other and footer so in the footer automated slide number okay i think we have we have that there okay so just check the slide number apply to all now let's look at the normal view and see if that appears okay so we have the slide number on all pages okay please make sure that the header and footer appear in the same position on every slide no items oh sorry this says should appear on the left it should be on the left okay so i'm going to go back to the slide master and then i'm just going to delete this delete this and then move this to the left Okay. okay so now this is on the left okay make sure that the header and footer appear in the same position on every slide no items overlap on any slide okay that's done locate the slide with the title our staff okay so let's locate this the slide with the title our staff okay this is the slide Select the three bulleted items after the text center manager who and format them to look like this. Okay, so we need to format the three um, three bulleted items. Okay, so these three. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is after selecting, I'm going to click on tab. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is to change um, the bullet okay so to do that I have to click on bullet and numbering okay since I don't have the the, um, the bullet here so I'm going to click on customize and find it okay it looks like this okay I think something like this okay
okay i'm clicking on tab again because if we look at it it's if we if we notice the line is starting under d okay so it's okay it should start under d yes the line is starting under d so this is correct okay now this delete the slide with the title our guiding principles and areas of learning and development okay the slides with and areas of development okay so we need to de uh, delete these two our guiding principles and then areas of development use the data in the file j2421 text score to create a vertical bar chart to compare the achievement for only the subject literacy and mathematics display the subject as labels on the category axis okay so we need to open the file text score text score Okay, so this is the file okay and we need to create a vertical bar chart for only this items and the subject name okay okay so what we're going to do is select this and then control select this select this and then click on insert and then Yes, okay, this is the correct chart. Okay, now label the chart with the title Impact of Early Child Care on Text Test Results. That's our title. Display the following values only as data labels along the top of each bar so values as data labels so i'm going to click on this and then data labels okay a legend showing preschool pre and no preschool okay so we already have that preschool no preschool Okay, if we can, um, if we look at this question, it says display the subject as labels on the category axis. Okay, the subject as labels. So this, okay, so we need to edit this. So we are going to select this, right click, and then select data. Okay, so we need to edit this. So what you do is you just select these two and then click on OK. And then automatically you have the the labels there okay so we have literacy and we have mathematics okay so format the value axis scale to display minimum 0 maximum 56 increment of 8 okay okay so you can just double click on this and then you can um, click on vertical axis access option okay so the minimum zero the maximum is 56 and then increment is eight so i'm going to adjust the increment first the increment is eight okay maximum 56 and minimum zero okay that's done place the chart to the left of the bullet on the slide with the title academic performance okay so we are going to copy this chart and then we'll paste in the slide with titled academic performance so we need to place it to the left okay you may want to adjust this a little bit so that this is 
visible okay question 28 on the slide with the title long-term benefits create an arrow shaped action button that looks like this okay this should be positioned in the bottom right corner okay so the slide long-term benefits long-term benefits so go to insert and then look for sorry go to insert shapes and then look for the arrow okay okay this one okay so it's supposed to look like this so we are going to make the line more thicker like this and then we are going to change the fill okay the shape fill okay and then make the line okay a bit thicker the outline should be black and then the weight okay this is fine Format the action button so that when clicked, it opens the document with the file name J2421 Long Life. Okay, so we're going, going to right click, hyperlink. Okay, so we need to find the document. Long Life. The file Long Life. Okay, and that's it. Okay, enter the text long life gains in a blank black font on the action button. Okay, so on the action button we need to have this text. Okay, so I'm going to insert a text box. Okay, and then I'm going to place this in the text, in the shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and group them together. Okay, group. Okay, make sure that the text displays on one line, the text fits within the shape and does not overlap the border. Okay, take screenshot evidence showing the action buttons linked to the correct file. Place this in your evidence document. Okay, so we just right click. Okay, edit hyperlink and then we take a screenshot of this. And then place this in evidence document. Okay, save the presentation. Print the full presentation as handout in portrait orientation with two slides to the page, each filling half the page. Okay, so print. Okay, so we need to have two slides on one page and then we can print. Okay, make sure that your name, center number and candidate number appear on every page of your documents. Save your evidence documents. Okay, so that's the end of this task. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like share and subscribe.